Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Ultima 7 Part 2, Serpentile. Alright, I've uh, pretty much done everything that I want to do in uh, Monitor. Um, there's not much left for uh, Elmandretta to uh, improve upon. Um, just intelligence right now, and I don't think that there's anyone that just improves intelligence. Uh, so... I'm not sure that there's much else that she could do to really improve in the, at this point in the game. Um, Dupre is maxed out on combat, so there's not a whole lot that he can do either. Um, because uh, everyone who could increase in dexterity also increases combat. Um, so I don't think there's much else that we can train for him. Uh, Shimino... Um, he's out of points, but he could improve his dexterity in combat. Um, now since there are two people, one person does two points of dexterity and one point of combat, and the other one does two points of combat and one point of dexterity, I'll probably have to alternate, uh, unless there's someone who does something with intelligence. Uh, and I, I know that there is someone who does something with intelligence, but I'm not sure what. I need to go look that up. Uh, Iolo really needs to improve combat, um, but he's out of points. Uh, Boyden, he really needs to improve dexterity and combat, so um, if he gets more points, we'll definitely be doing that. And we cannot train our automatons, which is kind of a shame, but uh, kind of makes sense. Uh, I have also deposited... Um, a significant amount of stuff here in our storeroom. Um, I l dropped off the extra guani cloak. I do. I did notice that I have some spindles of thread and uh, bales of wool, so I might have to do something with those uh, one of these days. Dropped off all the extra uh, equipment that I have that I can't sell, uh, although I can sell those plate leggings. That's right, I was going to see. Um, you guys have magic. You've got plate leggings, plate leggings, plate leggings... Plate leggings. Okay, and I did buy some stuff and, and sold as much of that I could, so... Uh, I also replaced the antique armor with plate mail on our um, all of our uh, automatons. Uh, here is all of the excess non-magical equipment, or non-magical weaponry. Um, that's basically non-magical armor. Um, these are our excess, uh, non-magic scrolls, that's that, and here is all of our excess, uh, magical item, magical weaponry, except for the staves, because I just decided to put them there. Um, A, holy crap, you get a lot of swords of defense. Uh, B, I need a bigger container for those. <laughs> Probably need to find some place a little bit better to store stuff. Um, but I'll figure that out later. It's not that big of a deal. Um, let's see. Let's actually head back up to the Sleeping Bowl, because there are some spells that I want to purchase, I think. I believe Ensorcio has a few. So we'll see if we can... Uh oh, hey. There are bags. I could pick up these bags. Let's totally do that. There we go. Now we've got a bag of bags. Uh, let's see. That bag is currently empty. That's what had all of our uh, equipment, our uh, armor, and that had all of our magical weaponry. So we can start picking that stuff up again. I don't know if anyone says anything different now. But uh, let's go find Ensorcio. He is not there. He might be inside the inn at this time. Oh, and I also... Um, yeah, there we go. Uh, turned all of the pikemen corpses into money that, that we had. So, thou art returned. Failed in thy puny quest already, pikeman. Uh, wrongs? Uh, that's right, okay. Uh, hawk. Yeah. 
guys are not saying anything different about the fact that uh, I went to um, Moonshade and I am back. Alright, spells. I am, yes. Uh, let's put the pay with gold coins. First, uh, I believe we need Great Douse. Sure, I don't care about haggling right now. Yep. Uh, second. Uh, nothing. I've got false coin. Third. Do I have sleep? That's fine, whatever. Yep. Yep. Alright. Uh, do I have paralyze? I think I do. Sure. Yep. I already have that spell. Yep. Uh, fourth. Deter? Sure. Sure. Okay, already have that one. Yep. Uh, fifth. Mass Sleep? I believe I already have Erstam Surprise. Okay, I already have that. Let's uh, just double check to make sure that I already do. I do already have Erstam Surprise. Okay, that was fifth. Let's go with sixth. Uh, I believe I do have Fire Ring, but uh, we'll try it anyway. Yep. Seventh. Uh, I know I already have Vibrate. Eighth. I already have both of those. And ninth. I don't think we have spiral missiles. Yep. Yep. No, I do. Okay, I do already have that. Um. Oh, that's right. I got that from uh, um, Gustachio. Do I have mass death? I should. Okay. Last one. Death vortex. Probably have this one. Okay. Nope, I'm good. Goodbye. Alright, let's see. So, I am full up on first circle. Full up on second circle. Full up on third circle. I am missing a fourth circle. I believe that is a story-based spell that we'll get at a specific point. Fifth. I'm missing two. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see, fifth. Yeah, one of those I will get later, and the other one I will also get later. Alright, we've got all of sixth, we've got all of seventh, we've got all of eighth, and we've got all of ninth. So, yes, uh, only, the only spells that, uh, that are left to get are indeed... Spells that we get as part of the story process. So I don't think there's anything left for us to do here. Now, we need to get back onto our quest to find Cantra. We have not been on this quest in quite a while. Uh, so we need to find the uh, Hounds of, uh, what was it, Doskar? Something like that? I forgot the exact uh, name. Um, but, ooh, fun times. We need to go up through the Swamp of Gorlab, which we have not been to yet. Not sure if you can actually... Hi, Fox. Are you a talking fox? We're not a talking fox. We could have done this earlier, but I'm not sure if we could have actually succeeded. That's a bunch of rabbits. Um, it might have screwed something up in the game. Uh, let's actually take a quick save. We did go into those buildings, though. Alright, what's after me? 
Nothing? Oh. There you go, now you're dead. Well, those, sna those snakes uh, aren't showing any interest in me. Oh, don't sleep here! No! Oh, I've never seen him sleep before. Even our even our automatons are falling asleep. Ooh, hello. I I must stay awake. Womp. Apparently, no, you mustn't. Well, crap. Uh. Huh. Well, I've got my uh, helm of courage. I've got my crystal rose, and I've got my mirror of truth. That's interesting. Well, let me get on to the uh, appropriate map part. Which, uh, let's see, where exactly am I right now? Oh my, all the way over there. <sighs> Alright, well, let's go ahead and uh, zip over there. Alright, there we are. Trying to figure out what th what the best route here is going to be. Because uh, we're going to need to do a bunch of stuff here. And we're kind of going to want to uh, avoid some dangerous stuff. Uh, Alright, where is... where's the other map for this thing? Oh, map, where are you? Okay, maybe I'm missing it. Maybe it's not here. Eh, it might not be here. Hmm. All right, well, it's not too difficult to find my way around here. All right, well... All right, so uh, we start in this uh, stone circle here, and uh, there are pulsating objects out there in the void. Uh, I hope we don't uh, encounter the, uh... Oh, th this pulsating object is putting off a little, uh, little light things. I hope we don't encounter the, uh, um, Shadow Lords here. That would not be fun. Alright, I was wondering when we were going to get the music. Ooh, uh-oh. Let's get the Juggernaut Hammer. Uh-oh. These things are spitting at me. I don't like that. Okay, apparently the Avatar did not like going down there. Well, at least they're not hitting me now, but I'm not sure if I can hit them. Okay, now I'm getting... Oh, it woke up. Would you hit the... Yeah, that's kind of how I feel. Damn thee! Why will you not die? Jeez. Maybe we can't kill these things. Alright, let's go this way. Enter the flame. I don't really want to enter the flame right now. That seems like a possibly bad idea. Hey, there's birdies. 
It's also a dead tree. Let's go this way. Ah, you can hit me from there? I can hit that body there. Can we... Kill these goblins? I mean, not goblins, uh, gargoyles? Apparently we can. Well, I feel a little bit bad, but they did attack me. There's a golden serpent there. Does not seem to be any real way to get in there. Well... Ah, okay. So how do we get down there into that thing? Is there perhaps a secret passage? No? Well, when in doubt, Haha! <gasps> oh! Infinity Bow! Can you put that on your back? Yes, you can. Let's take that. Probably shouldn't actually have this, but, uh. Ah. I have an Infinity Bow now. All is right in the world. Well, this looks like a rather frosty area. It's a pedestal. Oh, great, those guys are back. There's some altars. Hey, there is actually a, uh, a serpent gate here. Well, we don't have our um, serpent thingy. Translation. Can we actually hold that? Oh, that's right, we do have a backpack. Not sure what, uh, what needs to be translated here, but... Oh, Avatar! Greetings, hero from another world. I foretold that we would meet again, though I had not expected thee to thee in the realm of dreams. Um, I've been to your island. I've talked to you there. That which thou dost see before thee is the moon's eye. It is thy goal in the waking world. Seek out the true moon's eye in the Temple of the Ancient Ones in the icy wastes to the north. It will show thee what thou must know. Seek the moon's eye- wait! Damn it, Thoxa! Ooh. Can I double click on this? Nope. What's well, an interesting looking thingy. And that is a glowing serpent statue. Well. Go ahead and leave now. Don't get into the f explosions. That worked a lot better. That worked a lot better than the juggernaut hammer. And I am ready to go up a level. I am I have gone up a level. All right, well, uh, let's see. What else can we do? I'm not sure if it's possible to get this in the... Uh... Uh, possible to get this bow normally. Hmm. What do we have here? Oh, hey! Do not... In wait, wait, isn't this... Uh, um, uh, Stefano's house? Do not interfere with me, Avatar. I am the Mage Lord now. Thou dost know that Filbercio is lower than swine. He doth deserve to be tortured for all the ill that he hath done. Help me, please, I beseech thee. I cannot survive much more of this. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my. Um. Well... Yay? 
now we know what uh, um, Insorcio dreams about. It's kind of twisted, but, you know, I, I guess it's okay if you want to have those kinds of dreams. Uh, let's see, what do we have up here? What? Oh, God damn it. You die. There we go. What the hell happened? What is this? Lord British? Curse the Guardian! Well, I think this calls for another temp save. Wait, seriously? An invisibility ring? Let's not wear that. Lord British? Avatar, at, la at last thou hast come! Seeing thee again hath brought me strength! Dost thou know that I expected to find thee here, in my dreams? Oh, oh, I don't want to hear about your dreams of- Oh, that's gross. I wish that thou wert truly here to counsel me. Name! Dost thou truly have to ask my name? Hast thou suffered from the recent afflictions as has all of Britannia? Canst thou not recognize thine old friend? Tis I, Lord British, ruler of all Britannia, or at least what is left of it after all the disasters. Job! Dost thou have to ask why I am ruler of Britannia if thou dost not remember? Tis sad, truly thou art suffering from some sort of malady, such as the imbalances which are plaguing all of the land. I fear that nature itself... Nature is trying to rip itself... Uh, uh, I fear that nature is trying to rend itself apart. Mine only hope is that thou art truly in fair health, and that this pale reflection of thee in my dream is only a recent... A, is only a deceit of thy true fate. Uh, tell me about these disasters that have befallen Britannia. Do they have anything to do with the fact that you're an ineffectual ruler? If it were only the strange storms, or only... or only the magic instability... Hey, I fixed that! I would be less concerned. But when thou dost consider it along with the earthquakes, the emps, and the gargoyles, I fear that the world may indeed be ending. Uh, tell me about your dreams. Of course this is a dream. Thou hast not yet returned from the Serpent Isle to which I sent thee. Some days I fear that thou shalt never return. The storms began shortly after thou didst set, did set sail. It's not my fault. Tell me about the earthquakes. The earthquakes started not long after the storms began. At first they were fairly small and infrequent, but now they are growing more powerful and threatening the castle itself. Uh, imps? Thou shouldst remember the imps, Avatar. Thou didst save their trees before I sent thee to find the Serpent Isle. I fear that this cataclysm is affle affecting them the hardest of all. Um, tell me about the gargoyles. The gargoyles have also succumbed to these afflictions. They have fallen into a deep state of dreaming. Ooh, I hope... I didn't kill some of those just now. Um, dreaming? Few of the gargoyles can resist the compulsion to sleep, Avatar. Their slumber seems troubled, however. They thrash about and mutter in their sleep. Yet when we attempted to wake a sleeping gargoyle to see if his dreams ye held any answers, he attacked us. I fear that we will have no answers from dreams. Uh, answers? There are no answers, Avatar. No answers for those who sleep. I must wake and seek what answers I can without thee here. I do not know if thou couldst save us if thou wert here, but I would have ho have more hope if thou didst return. Hey, hey, I was not done talking to you. Alright, name, job, disasters, dream, earthquakes, imps, gargoyles, storms. There are storms unlike anyone has seen before. The scholars can find no mention of such storms in any of the archives. How can a mere stroke of lightning rip away the entire royal mint? <laughs> totally did not uh, uh, rob that blind uh, not too long ago. Definitely didn't do that. You should be thankful that there weren't anyone. There, there wasn't anyone in there though. Uh, tell me about the mint. 
Thou dost think me slack-witted, I am certain, but I have seen it for myself. The royal mint is gone, and in its place stands a strange lighthouse. Tell me about this lighthouse. Twas clear enough what it was. Its light was still shining after the storm, but none of the sailors recognized it. Um, tell me about the disturbance of the force. I know not what they mean, but none of the mages in Britannia seem to be able to predict the outcome of the most simple spells. Outcome? A mage might find his entire house burned to the ground after merely trying to light a candle magically, or another mage may, in the same instant, find himself unable to light a candle with a great flame spell. The mages claim that the ether is unstable. I fixed that, damn it. Tell me about the ether. Ether, that which mages call upon to shape their spells. Ah, did Mistra die again? God damn it, Wizards of the Coast. Stop killing her off. The mages say that the instability is a very bad sign. According to the mages, such an imbalance could easily destroy the world if it continues to increase in severity. Uh, castle. Only this morning did a guard find a crack in the base of the castle's foundation. It hath grown wider during the day. If the castle falls, there will be no turning back. There will be nothing I can do to hold back the destruction. How does... Did you build a load-bearing castle? God damn it, British. Why did you build a load-bearing castle? <sighs> Cataclysm. Oh. Uh, the imps are closer to uh, uh, nature, I think is what he said. The storms and earthquakes have brought a great illness upon them. Tell me about this illness. Many of the imps have died already. I have little hope for any of that gentle ra that any of that gentle race shall survive, even if the world doth not rend itself apart. I am sure that the illness will spread to humans if something is not done to stop these disasters. I'm working on it. Dreaming. Alrighty. Answers. Okay. All right. So we have talked to you extensively. Let's go ahead and save it. Oh, no, 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 no. Ha! <laughs> Thou would regret that! Ouch! Ouch! I'm not sure if I can kill him this way. I shall have thine head! This nightmare hath become too much to bear! The Avatar him himself?! Oh. oh, that is definitely grounds for killing you. Hath turned against me! The Guardian's foul deeds have even corrupted our last bastion of virtue. Britannia is lost without its hero. I must awake. Aww. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Oh, hey, there's an actual uh, infinity bow that I could genuinely get. Did you put that in? Don't put that in the bag. Silly avatar. Now, I am going to come back in here and get all this stuff. Uh, after we leave. I'll take that loot. Ow. Let's, let's be careful about the fire. I suppose I should not save the, uh... uh us killing the uh, uh, Lord British. Ooh, there's a severed head there. It's not talking, though. Why does Lord British's throne here have a uh, goat skull on it? It's a little weird. Alright, let's, uh, let's go ahead and load this back up. To not kill Lord British this time, even if it is just a dream. Alright, are you going to actually wear this if I drag and drop it? Yes, you are. Congratulations, Avatar. Alrighty. Um... For good measure, let's take that. Bye, British! Whoa! That was odd. The world just rotated. Huh. I 
forgot that there were the those things in the uh, um, uh, in, in this dream realm. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and uh, call it an episode. In the next one, uh, we'll continue exploring this dream realm, uh, which, hey, we may, we were able to make contact with Lord British. That's great, right? I guess. Anyway, see you all next time.